Direct News TV. March 13, 2024. Russia-Ukraine War, List of Key Events, Day 750. Here is the situation on Thursday, March 14, 2024. Fighting. At least four people were killed and eight injured after a Russian drone and bomb attack on Ukraine's eastern Donetsk and Sumy regions hit residential buildings. Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sersky, Ukraine's army chief, said the situation on the Eastern Front was difficult and that Russian forces continued to conduct offensive operations. He said Russian activity on the Southern Front had decreased significantly. Ukraine targeted oil refineries in Russia's Rostov and Ryazan regions in a second day of heavy drone attacks, causing a fire at Rosneft's biggest refinery and temporarily halting production. A Ukrainian source told the Reuters news agency the attacks were the work of the SBU security services. Ukraine-based anti-Putin Russian paramilitaries supporting Kiev urged civilians to flee Belgorod and Kursk, threatening large-scale attacks on military targets in the Russian border cities. Politics and Diplomacy Finnish Prime Minister Petteri Orpo warned that Russia was gearing up for a long conflict with the West and urged European countries to step up spending and coordination on defense. Russian President Vladimir Putin said he would send more troops to Russia's border with Finland, which joined NATO in 2023 after Moscow launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Leonid Volkov an exiled Russian activist and one-time senior aide to Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who died in an Arctic penal colony last month, was attacked with a hammer and tear gas near his home in Lithuania's capital, Vilnius. Lithuania accused Russia of being behind the attack, which left Volkov in hospital. The leaders of France, Germany and Poland said they would hold urgent talks in Berlin on Friday to boost support for Ukraine. Andrei Yermak, Chief of Staff to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, met the Chinese ambassador to Kiev for further discussions on a visit last week by China's special envoy and preparations for a peace summit to be held in Switzerland. Russia said it had no intention of joining the summit, even if invited. Austria ordered two diplomats from Russia's embassy in Vienna to leave the country. The foreign ministry said the two had engaged in acts incompatible with their diplomatic status. It did not elaborate. Weapons After months of wrangling, European Union countries agreed to provide 5 billion euros, 5.48 billion dollars, for military aid to Ukraine as part of a revamp of an EU-run assistance fund. Czech National Security Advisor Tomasz Bahar said the first deliveries of artillery ammunition under a Czech-led plan to boost Ukraine's supplies should reach the country by June at the latest. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post, you won't regret it.